Hi, third grade. This week in grammar, we are going to focus on subject and verb agreement. Before we start, we need to know what is a subject. We talked about this last week. Remember, a subject is who or what your sentence is about. Here's an example. The baby needs a nap. What's the subject of this sentence? Who is our sentence about? Hopefully you're able to realize it's the baby. Next, we need to review what is a verb. Remember that a verb is the action in a sentence. It's what your subject is doing or already did. Here's an example. The teacher talks quietly. Now, our subject is the teacher. What does the teacher do? What's the action word? Hopefully you see it, talks. Notice that this is a little bit different than subject and predicate that we did last week. Last week, we would have said the subject is the teacher. The predicate is talks quietly. But this week, we're only focusing on the subject agreeing with the action verb, right? The subject and the verb must work together to agree and sound good. Rule number one, if the subject is singular, then you will add an S to the action verb. Look at this example. The boy rides his bike. So you see the subject there that's in blue, the boy, because that's singular, there's only one boy, look at what the verb does you have to add an S to the action verb. It wouldn't make sense to say the boy ride his bike. Okay, now you're going to see that in rule number two, if the subject is plural, you do not add an S to the action verb. So here now we have a plural subject, the boys, more than one of them. This time though, it's going to say the boys ride bikes. There is, unfortunately, like we see often, a rule breaker with this. The pronouns I and you are both singular, but you do not add S to the action verb. So I is a singular subject. It's just one person, it's me. I ride my bike. We don't say I ride my bike. Let's look at some examples here. Which verb agrees with the subject? Well, first off, we need to see what our subject is. We have Jackie blank every night. Who is our sentence about? Our subject is Jackie. Then you have to ask yourself, look at the bottom where it says hint. Is the subject singular or plural? Well, think about the subject, Jackie. Is that one person or more than one person? Hopefully you realize that our subject here is singular. So the general rule is if you have a singular subject, you need to look for the S on your action verb. Jackie read every night or Jackie reads every night. Which one has that S? Very good, it is reads. Nice work. Here's another example. Which verb agrees with the subject? My shoes blank my feet. Well, what's our subject? Who or what is our sentence about? My shoes is the subject. Now ask yourself, is that singular or plural? My shoes is plural, more than one shoe. So this time we're looking for the action verb without an S. My shoes hurt my feet, okay? Which subject agrees with the verb? Okay, so this time they're not giving us the subject, but they are giving us the verb. Let's see if we can find that first. The blank run on the playground. Okay, what's our verb that's given to us? What's the action? Hopefully you know it's the word run this time. Now there's a hint down at the bottom. It says, does the verb end with an S? Does it say the blank runs? on the playground? No, so this time we need the plural subject. Which one of those is plural? The children 
run or the child run? Which one sounds better? Children, the plural noun there. Very good. Which subject agrees with the verb in this sentence? Blank works at a grocery store. Well, let's find our verb first. What's the action? It is works. Now it's asking you down at the bottom, does the verb end with an S this time? Look at that verb we just underlined, works. Of course it ends with an S. So this time we need the singular subject. Which one of those choices is singular or one person? Right, mom. So it makes sense to say mom works at a grocery store. Is the subject singular or plural? This is the last one and this might be a little bit tricky. The subject is underlined for us this time, my family, blank to play games. Well, you might think that family sounds plural because we think of multiple people in a family, but there's only one family being referenced here. So it's actually a singular subject. So since it's a singular subject, we need to choose the verb that ends with an S. My family likes to play games. And hopefully as you practice this skill this week, you will start to realize that certain choices just sound better because that's what subject and verb agreement is all about. Thank you so much for joining me today.